There was no mistaking the sound of gunfire we heard here at Mac and Connor at 730. Police say what ended here with the suspect actually started over a child custody dispute. 11:15 last night at uh, the intersection or a close proximity of Grand River and Warren, a lone female was fatally shot. Police Chief James Craig says that murder of a 28-year-old mother happened last night, and it led to what you see here this morning, a heavy police presence at Mac and Connor. Hours after last night's murder, the suspect barricaded himself in his vehicle around 5 a.m. He had just shot at the 5th police precinct. He gets out with a high-powered weapon, leans over the hood, and begins to fire several shots into the police station. The chief says it's unclear why the 28-year-old suspect targeted that location, but he then shot at a scout car, took off, and parked in a lot across from Fiat Chrysler on Connor. As they were moving in to block him in, uh, they could see uh, that he was holding an AR-15 against his chest, and as uh, the officer said, let me see your hands, he shook his head negative. Then a gun battle between police and the suspect. The suspect died. To back things up a bit, following last night's murder, overnight, the chief says the man had sent a text message to the victim's family. I saw the text message and basically it said that I told you I was going to kill this victim if my child was taken. The chief says that the suspect also threatened police as well as an unnamed judge in his text message to the family. Now, no officers were shot in this incident. However, one did have uh, an injury, a minor cut because of broken glass. Now, police say that the suspect has a history of domestic violence and a pending warrant out of Southfield. The chief says he's not sure where the child in this case is at this point. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.